to negotiate a, a real solution for the Palestinian and Israeli issue. Uh, making Afghanistan a stronger priority in, in the war that's going on right now. They'll rebuild friendships, re rebuild a, a, a rapport with other countries. Um, all the things that I uh, think pretty much have been destroyed you know, in the past eight years. His first priority should be to kind of reestablish good ties with Europeans uh, and with Russia as well. Direct unconditional talks on the presidential level, in my opinion, does give legitimacy to your enemy, and so I would not recommend that he personally engage in such actions, no. As Winston Churchill once said, it's much better to jaw-jaw than it is to war-war. Yeah, I don't think there should be unconditional talks among heads of state for countries that you know we believe to be harboring terrorists. I think that we should talk to them because we need to know what's, what's going on in their mind. If you have no clue whatsoever and if you're not hearing what they have to say, then won't things get even more hostile than what they already are? No. I think we have a sovereign right because we're stronger than everybody else. I think there should be a nuclear ban, but it's not going to happen. As we feel we have a right to defend ourselves, I think they think the same way. If some country has got a dictator who is basically threatening to blow up, say, Israel, then I think it's a problem if they have a nuclear weapon.